Hey everyone, and welcome to another Zem tutorial. Today, I want to show you what Zem Link is, what it does, and why you might want to use it. In this video, I will explain all its features, as well as everything else you need to know to get started. In general, Zem Link is a free to use software that connects your PC to the Zem Apex. That way, you can keep your mouse and keyboard plugged to the PC, and with a single button press, you can instantly switch between Zem and PC. This is great for when you want to watch YouTube, listen to music, or look up things on Google while playing your favorite console games, without having to unplug and reconnect your devices from Zem to PC back and forth every time. Another advantage of Zemlink is its hardware compatibility. If you want to use a device that doesn't work very well with Zem Apex, or even worse, the device isn't recognized by it, then Zemlink is your chance to solve this. With Zemlink you can use any input device with your Zem Apex that your PC recognizes and accepts. If you are disabled, and you want to use devices like foot pedals, then Zemlink is the way to go for you. Also, Zemlink fully supports scripting and macro software such as Auto Hotkey. If you have to rely on macros, or you just want to use them for the sake of simplicity and convenience, then Zemlink is something you might want to look into. In case you use devices such as backlight keyboards, which only let you change the colors when the PC driver is running in the background, then this won't be an issue with Zemlink anymore. Zemlink supports up to 1000 Hz, the added delay by the PC and software is in the microsecond range, which means it is too small to be noticeable, and will therefore not compromise your gaming experience in a negative way. Before we talk about the software itself, let's look at the setup. For Zemlink you will need an easy transfer cable, it will connect your Zem with a PC. Right now, the only supported cable is the Belkin Easy Transfer Cable. Here you can see a picture on how it looks like. You can usually buy it on eBay for around $2 to $10 in a brand new condition. Also, if you run Windows 10, then just get the Windows 7 or Windows 8 version of the Belkin cable, as there is no dedicated Windows 10 transfer cable offered by this brand. In the future, more transfer cables will be supported by Zemlink, and I will add those to the video description then. But for now, only the Belkin Easy Transfer Cable will work. Once you have your Belkin cable, and your Zem is connected to your console, connect one end of the Belkin cable to port 1, or 2, of your Zem USB hub. The other end of the cable goes into your PC. If you have done it right, both lights on the Belkin cable will turn green. Your controller goes into port 3 of your Zem hub, just like it would normally. Your mouse, keyboard, or the other devices you intend to use, will be connected to the PC. Of course, with Zemlink you also have the option to keep some of your devices attached directly to the Zem Apex, for example your mouse stays connected to the Apex, and only your keyboard runs through Zemlink. After the hardware setup is complete, you can download and install Zemlink on your PC. You can find a link to the download in the video description. Zemlink requires the latest version of Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable, I have added a download link to the latest version in the video description. If Zemlink doesn't work for you, please download and install this. If you run on a 32-bit Windows, you only need the x86 version, if your OS is 64-bit, please install both, x64 and x86. Once Zemlink is installed and running, it should look like the program you can see on my screen. If it doesn't, then Zemlink has been updated and you can find a new tutorial on my channel. Let's go through the interface of Zemlink first before I explain the individual features. In the top right we have the pass-through status. Active means all your PC inputs are sent to the Zem Apex, they will not affect your PC in this state. For example, when you now move your PC mouse, the mouse cursor on your desktop will be frozen, while your crosshair in the console game will move around. This will prevent you from doing unintended PC operations when playing your games. Deactive refers to a deactivated connection, in this state you have full control over your PC, and nothing is sent to the Zem Apex and the gaming console. 
You switch between the two states by pressing the pause key on your keyboard. You can also use a different button for this, I will show you later how to change it. In the top left you have the script profile bar. Here you can manage and create new script profiles, and assign them to your Zem game configurations. I will show you later how that works with an example. On the left side we have the script profile window. It will show you what scripts you have tied to your profiles, you can also adjust and customize those there. I will go over this in more detail later. The right side is reserved for joystick bindings, which is something that will be added to Zemlink in a future update. For now you can ignore this area. Near the bottom of the software, you can find the connection quality between your PC and your Zem Apex. When you switch between the two back and forth, it is normal that it shows a few delayed packages. However, if you continue to have delayed packages while playing, then something is interfering with the software. For example, this can be a video that you run full screen, or a different software that requires a lot of CPU usage. It is also worth it to completely unplug, and replug the transfer cable to repower it. The area at the very bottom of the software will show you all the key and button presses that are sent to your Zem Apex. Here you can double check if your button or script inputs are being recognized. In the top left, we have the settings option to customize your Zemlink software. First let's head into the directories option. Zemlink should automatically identify the folder you installed auto hotkey to. If you do not intend to use auto hotkey scripts, then ignore this option. Otherwise, if you haven't installed auto hotkey yet, then please do this now. Restart Zemlink after that to check if the target path is correct and adjust it manually if necessary. The text editor location path can be ignored for now, it will become relevant in a future version of Zemlink. The activation and deactivation option lets you bind different buttons to toggle the connection between Zemlink and Zem Apex. In my case, I want to use the Q key on my keyboard to activate and deactivate the connection. For that, I will add the Q key to both the activation list, as well as the deactivation list. You can bind as many buttons here as you want to, mouse buttons will not work though. If you still want to use a mouse key for this, you could use an auto hotkey script to map a keyboard key to your preferred mouse button, or change this mouse button to a keyboard key with your mouse driver. The whitelisted PC inputs key option lets you add buttons that when pressed or activated, will simultaneously work for both your PC and your Zem Apex. This means that your PC will not ignore these inputs while your Zem Link connection status is active. The blacklisted Zem Inputs key option allows you to define buttons, that will be ignored by the Zem Apex when you use them. In combination with the whitelist option, this can become very useful. Let's say you add the P key on your keyboard to both lists then this button will only be recognized by the PC while playing. With this button, you can for example switch between songs in your music playlist, without having to deactivate your Zemlink connection. Or you can adjust the music volume with buttons that you add to both lists. The donation button will link you to the GitHub page where you can support the developer, and show your appreciation for this software. This will greatly help to realize, and fund upcoming features. Also, you can make suggestions for new features on the GitHub page of Zemlink, and post potential bugs that you have found. In the last part of this video, I want to show you an example on how to create a script profile. Here I have created a very basic auto hotkey script. Its intention is to activate the super ability in Destiny with a single button press. Left control will be my button to activate the super ability, the keyboard key U, is bound to L1, in my Zem Apex Destiny config, and the key I, is bound to R1. The next step is to go into your documents folder on your PC. Then you will head to the Zem Link folder at the very bottom, and open the scripts folder in there. Place your newly created script there, and restart your Zem Link software so it will recognize the script. Once you have restarted Zemlink, click the button called New, 
you can find it at the very top. You can now assign a name to your script profile. In my case, I will name it Destiny Super Ability. After that, you can bind an activation key to launch this script profile. I will use F1 for this. Below this option, you have the Zem Profile key. Since the hotkey in my Zem Apex Destiny config is bound to F10, I will add it here. Whenever I now press F1, my script profile will be launched, and on top of that, Zem Link will send F10 to my Zem Apex, so it loads my Destiny game configuration. That way I can make sure, that with a single button press, both, the correct game configuration, and auto hotkey scripts are running. If you want to adjust, or delete your script profiles, you can do so by clicking the edit, or delete button. After that, the new Destiny auto hotkey script must be tied to the new Zemlink script profile. This can be done by pressing the edit button on the left side. Zemlink will now show you all the auto hotkey scripts that you have placed into its scripts folder under documents. Pick the scripts you want to tie to your Xamlink script profile, and use the arrows to add, or remove those. In my case, I will only add the Destiny Super Ability script, but of course, you can add as many scripts as you want to. Press the OK button, and your script profile is complete. It should now work in game. When I press my left control button now, while the connection status is active, I can see that both, key U, and key I, are being sent to the Zem Apex at the bottom of my Zem Link interface. If you have any questions about Zem Link, either ask in the comments down below, or in the Zem forum. Also, if you have suggestions, or wishes for future Zem Link features, please post those on GitHub or in the Zem forum. If you liked this video, hit the like button or even subscribe. Let me know if you would like to see more of these tutorials in the comments down below, and I will maybe see you in the next one. Until then, enjoy your Zem experience.